It's the radio guy, Mike Prince. Welcome to another episode of the Mike Prince Show. You can follow me on Twitter at the Mike Prince Show. The YouTube channel is the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Subscribe today and never miss an episode. Well, the champion has been crowned. Kansas victorious over the would-be North Carolina Tar Heels on last night and a stunning come from behind victory. At one point, they were down by 16 points and it was maintained at 15 for a while, but they went on a 31-10 to 10 run and the Kansas ends up being the last team standing. Now, I begin to look at Kansas and Kansas has been extremely consistent in basketball for years. They've been a staple, not only in the Big 12, but in the NCAA as a whole. And we all know that the football program has been a complete train wreck. I can't even remember when the last time Kansas had a significant football season. And I said all that to say this. There are programs who are comfortable in accepting the roles and the levels that they're on. And I'm not saying that Kansas does not want to win in football and they've gone through the Les Miles and other coaches to try and upgrade the program. But they know that their bread is buttered through basketball. And I bring up all of that. If we go up and down the Southwestern Athletic Conference and the results of the last 20 years, let's say in comparison from football to basketball, we won't throw in any of the other programs. But if you compare football to basketball, if you go up and down the list, I'll start with Mississippi Valley. I believe, and this is Mike Prince's own opinions, the Mississippi Valley is really a stronger basketball program and should focus on that. And I do understand you want to be competitive in football, but I would increase slightly more resources toward basketball because that can be your quickest turnaround. I also say the same for the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. Now, with what Alcorn has done of recent with the hire of Landon Bussey, which I think is an outstanding hire. They are bringing up the balance, but we know that Alcorn was significantly known for football, but Bussey is slowly but surely changing the culture in Lorman, Mississippi. When we go on to Jackson, we know that Jackson is known for his football historic prowesses. And with the transitioning of Mo Williams to be the basketball coach at Jackson State. We'll see if they can upgrade the men's basketball program. Now, they did have a little bit of recent success the last couple of years or so, but we're talking about a 20-year run right now. Then we move on to Bethune-Cookman. I would have to say that Bethune-Cookman would have more of a successful run on the basketball side of things. And as far as FAMU is concerned, we know that that is football. Southern University is one of those that has been a balance to a degree. They've had very competitive basketball and football programs. But if I had to give a nudge, I would have to give that slight nudge to football if we go over the 20-year run. Grambling State Tigers, no-brainer. Football. When you look at at the likes of Texas Southern. Another no-brainer. That is basketball. Even though they've been spending money, the football program is turning a corner, but Texas Southern is definitely a basketball hub. And when you look and gather all these programs that are going on, and subsequently, it is what it is, right? And we have to and they say deal with the facts and the facts only. Now, 
I got a couple other schools that I need to make mention of. I want to make sure that I don't forget. I know I got to go with a prairie view in just a moment. Uh, so in the West, we covered Grambling, we covered Southern, we covered Pine Bluff, we covered Alcorn, okay, in the East, Jackson, oh, Alabama A&M and Alabama State. Well, those are almost like Pickums. And when you count the tenure of Coach Petaway at A&M, you would have to give a little of that edge to basketball at Alabama A&M if you go over a 20-year track. I know they won the football championship a couple of years ago, but the most consistent program throughout the past 20 years, no doubt, has been basketball. Alabama State. When you look at Alabama State, these are one of those, is the glass half empty or half full? They have one of the more uh, expensive budgets throughout the conference, but for whatever reason, they couldn't get it right with their two major sports. And, and I'm talking, of course, about football and basketball. And when I go over the 20-year run, I honestly would have to give them a pick em. And if I had the lean, I guess I would say football because they've had a couple of players to end up in the NFL. So that is my take on that. And last and definitely not least, my beloved Prairie View A&M University Panthers. When you look at the 20-year run between football and basketball, it is an absolute no-brainer that basketball is the king of the hill. Now, is it handled as such? Tomato to model. Depends on who you ask. But if you look at result on the court, on the field, hands down, you would have to consider men's basketball program at Prairie View A&M University. Now, of course, the Panthers won the Western Division title this last season. And prior to that, they were close, but no cigars. And, of course, we all remember the 2009 campaign, but that has really been it. So I've laid out what I think and how I associate the programs I would love to hear your feedback on what you think about these things and be sure to drop up in the comment section on the YouTube channel at Open Mic Broadcast Network or you can always call in your thoughts, comments, or even concerns at 713-570-6736. Well, this program today has been slightly longer than what I anticipated but I had to make my points. I will let you guys know I had successful gallbladder removal surgery on yesterday and all is well. But I am going to rest and build my strength back up. And I'm thankful to all of those who help support and encourage the things that we try to handle here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Be sure to visit the website at obnradio.com. Click on the donation button and become a listening partner today. My time has come where I must exit stage left. I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. As always, we thank you and appreciate you. And we'll see you on the other side.